Hey guys, I thought I would share um, this little gem of an oracle deck with you guys and how it kind of came into my life. Um, but first I want to mention, I'm sorry if you see shadow. I'm still kind of figuring out how best to record looking down at things. Secondly, actually no thirdly because there's the third, the third problem right there. You will probably hear my cat because she's mouthy and um, has a lot to say. Third of all, <laughs> um, I apologize if you hear my dryer because I am doing laundry and the laundry room is right beneath my room. Anyway, so lately just through events in my life and um, some of the things that I've gone through in personal stuff and my journey through um, talk therapy and everything like that, I have been really focusing on self-love, reclaiming my power, and kind of reprogramming a lot of the way that I see myself. And I decided because my mental health and my spiritual practice are very much linked and they, um, they're very intertwined. So whenever I'm on a journey to better myself, my spiritual practice is usually one of the first things that I go to aside from all practical means, be therapy or anything else that I consider self care. But I thought, um, I would really like to get a deck that would focus on, um, either reclaiming my personal power or healing myself. And there's one other deck that I do have that I do consider, um, an Oracle deck that is very, very good for that as well, which is the Work Your Light Oracle cards, um, by Rebecca Campbell. And, um, I adore those, but they weren't quite what I needed in the sense that this deck packs a kind of different punch. Um, the other thing that I had come across was the Heal Yourself cards, but this is what I just wasn't drawn to them. But then I came across this, and um, these are the Personal Power Oracle cards by Deja DeWitt. And she has um, a couple other decks. She has a My Quality Time self care deck, and I think there's one more. I'm sorry, but the name eludes me right now. But um, this one I I came across and I just was like, that is exactly what I'm looking for. So we're going to go through the cards. I'm going to talk about the deck because I don't see this deck enough. And it really needs to be talked about because it's a fantastic deck. The artwork is beautiful and it's simple but so meaningful at the same time. So here's the box. It says... You are very powerful, provided you know how powerful you are. And then she does have a guidebook. So I'm just going to put the box over here, out of the way. And then we'll look at the cards in a minute. I'm just going to tell you guys really quick about the guidebook. So, little guidebook that comes with it. The great part about each card is that it has journal props. So if you pull um, a card, you can actually do some journal prompts about it. She does go into questions you can ask the deck, how to use this deck, and then um, information about her as well. So I will put the link to her website down below. I highly recommend you check her website out as well as her other decks. This is the only one that I currently own, but I just love it so much. So these cards are a little bit smaller than um, your standard tarot. They're kind of more like, I'd say, maybe uh, Lenormand size, I would guess. Not quite playing card because they're longer, and um, playing cards are usually a little bit wider, if I'm not mistaken. But it does come in this really pretty magenta edging. These are the backs. Beautiful. I like how it's kind of a mirror. Kind of makes me think of, you know, mirror into yourself. So, yeah, it's kind It's basically, I would consider this an affirmation deck. So... We're just going to go through the cards and I will kind of talk about them and read the titles for you guys. So this first one is I am hopeful. I deserve respect. I looked at this and I saw Selena. I don't know if you guys remember. It depends on how old you are. The uh, singer Selena who passed away in the 90s. This definitely makes me think of her. <laughs> I am worthy. I can change my thoughts. 
this is actually something that I really thought was powerful as someone who struggle, struggles with depression and anxiety. You can see it here. I mean, she did a really good way of illustrating what both of those might feel like. I look at this and I see depression. I look at this and I see my anxiety. Um, anxiety kind of gives you this kind of uncomfortable in my own skin feeling and depression just feels heavy and I just I don't know there's something about that image that I thought was really well done I am responsible for my life I am lovable I am celebrated this actually looks like the uh, creator. I was almost wondering if this was her because it does look like her. At least I feel it does. <laughs> I am forgiving. I am supported. I actually thought about bringing this deck to therapy and showing my therapist <laughs> to see what she thought of it. I think these are stuck together. Well, maybe not. I am curious. Oh, they are. Nope, they're not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I am sacred. I am divinely guided. That's the other great part about this is that it's a very like spiritually inclined deck. I reveal my truth. This one was stunning, especially as a person who suffers from a chronic illness. Although I may not know what it's like to, you know, not have a limb um, or anything like that, or to walk with a cane or be in a wheelchair I don't I don't know what that feels like but I do know what it feels like to have your body basically betray you and um I really saw that in this I really did um and I was mo very moved when I saw this card it says I am unbreakable I trust my intuition I am perceptive I am happy. I am blessed. Just lighting. I release what does not serve me, or what doesn't serve me. This one, this is something I've been telling myself a lot as well. And I like that it's basically showing that it's okay to cry. It's okay to have that that purge and that um, catharsis that we all need sometimes. You may not jump up on the table, miss. <laughs> no. I have a naughty kitty here, guys. I'm sorry. Pretty sure you heard her yell at me. No, you may not. In my last video, you knocked a ton of stuff over. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we're not editing that out either, guys. This one I also thought was just wonderful. I embrace change. I look at this and I see someone who's going through transition. You can see that um, it, this could even be not necessarily transition in a transgender way, or it could, just depends on how you look at it, or it could just be some sort of transition in any shape or form. Either way, this is something that's incredible to depict, because we all go through transitions, be it literal or figurative. I am good enough. I have permission, something that I think we don't tell ourselves often enough. I have permission to feel, I have permission to be angry, I have permission to grieve, I have permission to be happy, I have permission to feel sad. These are things that we need to tell ourselves. We, we deny ourselves this very often. I know I'm very guilty of it myself. I have a higher purpose. I am open to receive. I love this one. This one's really cute. <laughs> I choose to tune out negative people and thoughts. As a highly sensitive person, I really get this card. <laughs> I surrender. I'm going to be nitpicky. Sorry. I'm sure there are other people who completely get that. <laughs> what I just did there. I trust in divine timing. I am a creator. Another one that I resonate with, being a mother. But this could also just be, I can create beautiful things with my hands, with my mind, with my intuition. 
There's a lot that could come from this. I am beautiful. I'm ready. This looks like I'm ready to feel. I'm ready to purge. I'm ready to release. I'm ready to let go. I'm ready to move forward. I just see a lot with that card. I speak highly of myself. I don't know if you guys have seen the um, photos. Um, there's a lot of photos that have gone around different photography projects where people will write um, perceptions of themselves on their bodies and they get their photographs taken. I've always found those very moving and I'm, I'm betting that was probably the uh, influence to this one, but I just loved it. I'm a healer. Now the last cards here go through the zodiac signs, which I thought was a really awesome touch. So I think this is just fantastic. So here's Aries, I'm fearless. Taurus, I'm abundant. Gemini, I am connected. Cancer, I am safe. Leo, I am abundant. Or I'm authentic. Whoopsie. <laughs> Virgo, I'm a problem solver. Libra, I follow my heart. Scorpio, I am passionate. Sagittarius, I am knowledge. I love this one. <laughs> I have a lot of Sagittarius in my life. Um, you know, one of my uh, best friends, my son, uh, my sister-in-law. There's many, many people. I have a handful of friends that are Sagittarius, actually. Um, and this just makes me think of every single one of them. <laughs> I am determined, Capricorn. I am wild and free. This is my sun sign, Aquarius. I am a dreamer, Pisces. So that is the Personal Power Oracle deck by Deja DeWitt, and I highly recommend it. Um, I will probably be sharing this again on my channel at some point where I kind of go in a little bit more, more um, about how I've been using it, how I've been working with it, the things that I've enjoyed about it, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a look at it and talk about it a little bit because this was something that I came across and I absolutely just went head over heels for. It was exactly what I needed for the right time in my life. And it's kind of interesting how things like that come into your life right when you need them. But yep. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one.